Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here and welcome to World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade Classic. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Blood Furnace Dungeon on normal difficulty and we're going to be healing this as a priest that is mostly discipline spec. It's a spec that I'm using for both leveling and dungeons. So it might not be a common spec that you're used to seeing with a healing priest, but we will see how it goes. Looks like we have a paladin who is going to be tanking for us. Waiting for buffs is always good, but we don't have to wait for buffs. Let's get onto our healing bar here. It's nice to be healing a paladin and being able to use my bubble without feeling bad that I'm stopping the tank from generating rage, which is how I always feel when we're healing a druid or a warrior. It's also interesting having a tank that needs to sit and drink mana. It will give us an opportunity to actually fill up our mana between pulls uh, without having to feel like we're holding everyone back. It's always interesting that people's conception is that if they do something wrong, they are going to get and should get yelled at. <laughs> Only in World of Warcraft would somebody say, yeah, go ahead and yell at me, and probably actually expect to be yelled at by the group. Don't yell at people. Give them some feedback if you do know some way to help them improve, but don't yell at people. And don't have expectations of other people based on your own experiences with the game. Because we're all different, and we all have different levels of experience and knowledge of the game. Yelling at somebody is rarely an effective way to get them to learn anything or to act on your feedback. I don't remember that much of Blood Furnace. I remember Ramparts really well. But being in here and looking around at the enemies and at the environment... I don't remember a lot. I remember these rogues. I remember rogues on the stairs. Okay, this part is feeling familiar. Maybe it'll get more familiar the further we get in.
Alright, let's go ahead and get all of our mana back here. That was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to be putting Divine Spirit on everybody. Have to hit shift and click for me to do that. There we go. Let's get that going on everyone. And we'll drink a little bit more before we pull into this next room. I'm kind of hoping that he pulls back around the corner. Did they dispel all my buffs? I don't think so. But it's possible. I don't know if they dispel buffs or not. It looks like he has every buff. We don't have intellect. Well, I have intellect, so maybe they did dispel buffs. Okay, they do dispel buffs. That's good to know. Check my sound settings here. The dialogue seems really quiet. Music seems a little quiet. There we go. Let's get those back up. That's a little better. Thank you. 
All right, I'm going to drink here before we move into this next room. It looks like we have a couple of big groups, and then we have a patrol moving about. Could get a little bit dicey, so we want to be prepared for that. Now, I wonder if he can line of sight these guys. I don't know. I think it would be pretty hard to do. Yeah, arranging them might be a decent idea. I'm not going to throw any heals on him until he has that under control. We'll bubble him. Now we should be good. Yeah, it's going to be close. I think we're going to stick with some greater heal spam here for a second. All right. That might be a little bit more under control. Nope. Let's... <laughs> Go back to Greater Heal. Dispel that magical effect. Ooh, we have a rogue that popped up out of stealth here. I'm glad that he kind of waited towards the end of that. If he had popped in the beginning, it might have been farewell to our tank. Alright, this is going to be a four pull. Let's see how this goes. What does he have on him that I can't dispel? Corruption. Why can't I dispel that? Okay, there we go. Hit the right button and then all will be made clear. Alright, I need a bubble. And now I seem to be out of mana. That's not good. Let's uh, let's see if we can get some mana back and see if there's anything we can do here. Nothing we can do when we are dead. This is going to be a wipe. Let's see if we can at least get that succubus down. It might not be a wipe. Let's see. Well, we don't have anyone who could heal besides the druid. Maybe the druid will shift out and throw some heals? No? Alright. Guess that's a negative. I wonder if the paladin has already blown lay on hands. If they'd focus their DPS up, they'd probably be able to get this, but we're splitting DPS um, between the two different enemies. The pet is dead. I guess the pet might have been tanking this one. Well, we got a mage tank now. The druid did shift into bear form to start tanking. It would have been just as useful for him to shift into caster and throw a couple heals early on. Might have made that a little bit smoother, but... I'm the healer laying on the floor, so I don't have a lot of room to talk. Well, we got it, so it's not technically a wipe.
And the mage points out he can sheep. I kind of forgot all about CC, but for some of these bigger pulls, it might be really useful to sheep the third or the fourth add. Just to keep that damage output uh, manageable. I think we're going to have to either go in the room or grab one of these pads. There's this pad coming around here. I'm trying to avoid the urge to start marking for the tank, but yeah, we do need to decide to pull one of these groups um, and take advantage of where they're at. Oh, someone is back. Okay, I do need to read party chat as much as I would rather not. Apparently our druid was AFK. Mm, don't pull him there. Don't pull him there. That's pretty close. Is that going to pull this other group? No, it didn't. And so the technicians must be the ones that are throwing the bombs, yep. Looks like we've cleared the room out, except for this last group. At least that's all I can see. If I remember correctly, are we going to open these little cages here off to the sides and fight those as well? I think we might. We were silenced. Not fun. Somebody stepped on a bomb. There we go. And now the maker is up and moving around. Probably a good idea to get all of our mana back before this fight.
anger, hate. These are tools I can use. Looks like we have been mind controlled. Domination, charmed. Okay. Uh, not good. Not good at all. Let's get a big heal Stay here. Away from oh, doesn't matter. Nice Libram for the Paladin. That's really cool for that to have dropped. Alright, now we have a lot of bombs laying in the mist here that we don't all want to step on. Well, that was dumb of us. I came out here to help the druid and I ended up aggroing some ads myself. Let's help out with DPS since we are in fact out of mana. And now let's mana back up. Even 700 experience per kill without rested experience is pretty good experience. Kind of see why some people are choosing to level up by spamming dungeon runs. It's probably not a bad way to go. Oh look, we even have a Frost Trap out now. It's almost like we have classes that have CC and that CC can be useful in Burning Crusade. Away, you mindless. 
as parasites. My blood is my own. I feel like I could easily go through two stacks of water just in a normal dungeon. I'm going to have to keep that in mind going forward. So I just don't feel like I'm bringing enough water. Granted, we have a mage who could be making water for people, but unless you pester them to do so, they typically won't. I feel like as a mage, I would at least give water to the healer. Especially if I could make decent water that was comparable with what could be purchased. Which I'm pretty sure they can. Alright, we have this patrol. Yep, we're going to get the patrol. That's going to go... Oh good, he had Consecrate down, so it went on to him instead of running right to the mage. Well, the mage has made some friends, so has the hunter. Somebody is looting during combat. And sitting on bombs. Which is always a good idea. Alright, we have another big room with a few different groups and a three-person patrol. I actually don't know how large this dungeon is. I don't remember how many bosses were here. This will be the second boss.
Yeah, that was a lot of damage going out in that pull. Probably could have used a little bit of CC, just saying. But all is well that ends well, I suppose. That pack of three techs is going to be fun. It could be really fun because we could simply sheep and trap and then it should be fine, right? I mean, that's what I would do if I were calling the shots, which I'm not. Well, I mean, they tried they tried to do things. Uh, we got silence, so that screws it, everything up here. There we go. That's probably not going to be enough soon enough. Let's see if this big heal goes off or not. There we go. Yeah, you have to pull that a little differently to trap, I think. You'd have to pull in the opposite direction. Not exactly right across where, the, where we're going to have Consecrate going. Okay, uh, yeah, being able to cast is essential to healing. Try to get this heal off on our mage friend here. And on ourselves would be a great idea. Well, we managed it. could excuse myself with the excuse that we were silenced, but I, I won't bother. There's no reason to defend ourselves. We know what happened. I mean, the first thing that happened is that nobody got CC'd properly.
Looks like our druid just went offline. I hope that's a temporary thing. It's not exactly, like, super easy to get another person into these dungeons, especially when you're midway through and you have to explain that to them. Then you have to run out and summon. I don't want to take that bomb without a shield. Let's do this. There we go. And we're probably going to want to clear these other ones out as well. Well, I'm going to use some editing magic here and we'll give it a minute to see if our druid comes back. If not, I will cut back in once we have a fifth member to our party. Alright, we are back. We had to run out and get a mage to replace our druid who went AFK. We should be good now. Hopefully we can finish the run with the group that we have. Oh good, we're pulling. Perfect. Let's get back onto our healing bar, that would help. I remember as a warrior tank without a ton of AoE, the stress it was to pick up and hold all of these adds. That wasn't exactly fun. It seems like the Paladin with Consecrate has a little bit of an easier time grabbing and keeping aggro. Yeah, or not. I mean, we ran him right over the Consecrate. Didn't really think that just having a Renew up on the tank was gonna get us instantly annihilated by all four enemies. Fun times. We'll see if they can wear these guys down. I don't think they're elites, are they? Oh, they are elites. Lay on hands, man. Lay on hands. Where are the mages with Frost Nova? Get in there, slow these guys down. We got two mages, we got no sheeps, we got no frost novas. Fun times. Oh, and I realized, oh, the paladin, oh no, nobody can res us now. Now we're releasing. Well, he sure didn't do a lot, did he? Ah, uh, but we are definitely going to roll need on these. Increases healing done and damage done. Well, we, ha we have some competition. But we won the roll. Oh, we can't equip them yet, though, because, you know, they're level 61. The level of the instance.
be really interested to see if our remaining water can actually get us through this dungeon, or if we do need to bring two full stacks with us. Well, look at that. We got a sheep on that one. Illidan is an arrogant fool. I will crush him and reclaim Upland as my own. Well, we don't want to stand that close. We definitely got interrupted there. That was no fun. Uh, we're going to drink here for a minute and let them handle this one and get back to full mana.
All right, yeah, we can't do a lot with them on us, obviously. Um, hmm. Interrupts are not helping. I think ideally you want to pull them when they're not empowered. Maybe we'll wait a second. There we go. Seems like a good time. And this must be the final boss room. Boy, this was a long dungeon, wasn't it? I mean, even taking out the times when we had to stop for the druid who DC'd and cutting out the times for the wipe and the run back, it's still been well over an hour. Curious to see you how he pulls this. Let him loose. Terrified to press any buttons right now. But I'm gonna have to do something. <laughs> Here we go. Well, that actually wasn't too bad. Kind of expected all those guys to turn on us and blast us. What is this? So let's see if what we have the mana done? to heal through the rest You're of the fight. Everything. Doesn't look great so far. Come uh, this is where we run the away, right? Burn. Yeah. I'm gonna go out here. Okay, are we good? Yeah, we're safe. My blood is my own. 
Really wish we had enough uh, mana to do another big heal here, but we don't. Let's just burn it down. Good Alright, that is that. There's some leather gear for the hunter, I suppose. And that, guys, is the Blood Furnace full clear. Couple of tricky enemies in here. Couple of. Oh, wait, are we not done? Oh, maybe we're not done. I had thought this was the last boss. Let's come down here. Oh, we are done. Okay, this must be the exit. It's been so long since we've had to worry about actually exiting a dungeon. I want to see where this goes. But yeah, that is that. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you all being here and the support that you show the channel. It does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in more dungeons in the Outlands sometime soon. Bye now.